Welcome to TMB Designs. I am Trevina, your host of this fabulous lifestyle channel. It is full of inspiration, motivation, and creativity. I desire to inspire you to make beautiful designs one space at a time. Hey guys, it's your girl and you know what time it is, right? You see the title, so you know what it is. Let's get into it. But let me break them back up. Before I do, I want to first just send a huge shout out and thank you to all of the beautiful YouTube family or sisters that joined me in the Fun in the Sun collaboration. It was a hit. In my opinion, it was a hit. I was not expecting you know as much participation as I got. Um, I was a little nervous, although I've done plenty of collabs with other YouTube sisters, you guys know the infamous Dream Team. We do collabs all the time. And if I host a collab, it is kind of selected, a pre-selected group of ladies to collab with. This was the first time that I actually stepped out of the box and hosted my own collab. And it was amazing. I'm so glad and so thankful that you all thought enough to join and be a part. Some said that they um, wanted to and couldn't or, you know, just things happen and you just can't. But for those that didn't get a chance to do it, for the fun in the sun, your girl is going to do it seasonally. So, you guys know I am a Christmas and tablescape guru. So, I will be hosting a um, seasonal tablescape collab. So, each season will have a different title, but it will be, you know, kind of geared towards a theme for the year. For instance, um, the summer was fun in the sun. So, we know that the fall is coming up and I'm going to do the beauty fall tablescape collab. So, each um, season will be something different. For Christmas, I would do the deck, the halls. For um, the springtime, I'll do um, spring it on. So each season will be a different tablescape, but I decided to open it up for anyone that wanted to join and participate in the collaboration. It's a great way to network and, and intermingle with your um, fellow YouTube sisters. And it also brings, you know, some new traffic to your channel because some people that watch my channel may not watch some of the other's channels. And it's just a great way to introduce them to new creators if there's something different out there that you want to see. So with that being said, now let's move on in to the um, shopping haul. You guys, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of lying on myself because every time I come on, but well, the last couple times I say, I don't need to be shopping, blah, 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 blah. You know, you know how I do. I need to be packing, which I do. And I have technically kind of sort of started. For those that don't know, we are in the process of, um, home shopping or buying a home and so I am just go ahead just moving full steam ahead packing there have been so many things going on you guys um I don't even know where to start I don't want to get into it on this video I want to keep this kind of dedicated to the just a thank you to my to my fellow YouTube sisters that joined me and just kind of um going into the um the actual shopping haul however I do want to say you know um I thank you guys so much just for for noticing when things are kind of off with, I won't say off with me or just some, if it's not a consistent pattern or it's something that's off from our usual pattern, you guys notice. And um, believe it or not, that really makes a difference to me. And I will go, I uh, will think I might even record another video after this one, kind of explaining what's been going on behind the scenes because some have reached out and you've been wanting to know. So I feel like that does, deserves a dedicated um, video in itself. So I'll get into that another video so if you see this outfit again you know how i do when i get in video mode i just record so let's get into this haul you guys i have been to goodwill of course amazon has become my um good go-to here lately i've been on flea mark um facebook marketplace you guys i'm obsessed every morning after prayer that's where i go i know it's sad but that's what i do um i've been to what is this burlington i've been to the at home store i've been to ross Ugh. let's get into it okay so first we'll start at goodwill because i have these items sitting right here now like i've said before my goodwill is a hit in this sometimes i go in there and i find some nice items but for the most part i don't that's when i really miss texas because my goodwill there you guys was like shopping at a macy's clearance they mean the stuff in there was like always top notch so here it's just kind of hit and miss but i knew that i wanted to build on my my white um dishware, dinnerware collection as far as my everyday use or serving, you know, hosting type of thing. So I picked this up. It is a gravy and um, little sauce or a tray 
combo. I absolutely love it. Let me show you guys the details of this. So, so pretty. I love that. And it, it doesn't, it doesn't, well, it has kind of like a florally ish look, and I love all things florally. And you guys, what I love about Goodwill is if you go on there on the right day and it's your color or your letter, everything's half off. And so I was, and then on the right day, this was $2.52. The light is not too bright because I'm, I've changed my setting on my lighting. I hope it's not too bright, but that was $2.52 and it was half off. So this is beautiful, and it's like a nice thick glass. I really, really like that. Okay. I have them sitting right here. And so here, again, I'm going into more of the white serving dishes. So a lot of my everyday dishes that are not white, I am blessing someone else with them, just getting rid of them. So my hubby likes the thicker dishes. I have like an everyday little Walmart set, but he likes this thick, thick, like a copper color that I used. So I said I needed to replace that with something equally as thick and heavy for him to um, use. And so this was a set. Let me show you the details of this one. Beautiful. Um, dental molding details and I know they have some similar at the Dollar Tree but you guys this is eight there's eight in this um, set look at the price two sixty two and half off you're not gonna find it that good at, at Dollar Tree so I jumped on this and so here along with the um, salad plates they have the little soup bowls a set of eight you guys for whatever reason the bowls were a little bit pricier they were six eighty six and they were half off. So even at $3.43 to get eight bowls was a steal. So, and then here, the only drawback, which I don't think is a deal breaker for me, there are only seven um, dinner plates, but I'm okay with that. Even if I just set up a set of four out daily use and just have them, you know, as, what do you call it? Backup, because I know something will get broken. And here it looks like some of some of it has been smudged off of there. I believe these were seven, seven fourteen or seven nineteen, but they were like three because they ended up being like three something for the um, for the dinner plates as well. But I thought even at that price, you guys, all of that was a really really good deal. So getting that white collection in order. So I got that from the Goodwill. The next place we will go to is Amazon. You guys, I have been on Amazon like crazy. And also another thing that I have been doing, I won't say in excess of, but I just kind of got bit by that whole tropical palm leaf vibe for the summer. And I really, really like it. I paired it with my black and white and you guys seem to really love it. My husband and I are enjoying it. Everyone that comes over and we sit out and grill or whatever, they, they really like it. So that is something I'm going to continue to do because I know with the black and white and the palm leaf, I can throw in different colors season after season or summer after summer and get a nice look and feel. And so with that, I picked up with the palm theme in mind, I ordered some actual stems that are different palm leaves. I think it's four different types. If I think about it, I'll add a little picture if I have time to because I'm going to record and upload this tonight. I will not be <laughs> um, defeated. I have been attempting to do this video, you guys, all day. I have had distractions come up all day, but I am determined to get this video out. So it's Tuesday. That's my, I said that was my upload date. It seems like ever since I mentioned changing my upload schedule, there has been something coming up to hinder me from doing that. But the devil is a lie. Y'all gonna get this video. Okay, if it's at 11.59 on Tuesday, you're gonna get it, okay? So this is a packet of just four, I think it's four different kind of palm leaves. And I'm gonna use them. I'll, I'll show you what I'm gonna pair with and use that for um for my tropical theme for the summer. Okay, so I got those and they weren't very expensive. I wanna say they may have been like $12.99, $14.99. It was actually, I think, 72 pieces. So that was a great deal for that amount. And this was actually supposed to have come in to go with the last with my fun in the sun um, tablescape, but there's gonna be another um, collab coming up with my sister Kim over at um, Diva Designing on a Dime. She's gonna do another um, summer paradise in July. So I think I may just, you know, showcase them then. And it's these, you guys, beautiful um, pillow covers because if you're anything like me and you have a slight obsession with pillows, it can get difficult to store. So I have kind of started shopping around for pillow covers and I absolutely, let me open it back up. I absolutely love the design on that. It's not a pinstripe, but again, I told you with mixing patterns, if it has the same color scheme, those patterns can work beautifully together. So this is like a diamond with a palm leaf overlay. So, so pretty. So I will probably be using those in that, okay? Also from Amazon, 
your girl hit 45 and she just went skincare crazy. Um, and not so much as products, but as tools. So I saw someone, another one of my favorite beauty YouTubers. I saw her um, using one of these and I thought I have to get my hands on one. But once behold, I went to Amazon and it is a facial cleansing brush set. I am an old school Terra cloth scrubber girl and I exfoliate really well with the soap that I use. But I saw her using this and I thought this would definitely um, be beneficial. It wasn't very expensive. I want to say it was $24.99. I'll pop the price on it once I confirm it. But I got that. Bonus is that it's in my blue. So yeah. Your girl is fighting age, honey, every step of the way. I know they say you age gracefully. Mm -mm, she going down with every fight in her body. Because I don't wanna, I mean, I wanna, I wanna gain the wisdom. You know, I wish we could just kinda like pick and choose what we wanted with aging. The wisdom, you know, the the more um, subdued, you know, vibe that you get when you don't know, you turn older. Things that used to get you all worked up and bothered, don't, don't do that as much anymore. So I love that part of aging. I love the freedom and just the, you know, not the nonchalantness, but the, um, I don't have to prove who I am anymore. I don't have to, I know who I am. And so it's kind of like, you just kind of chill and you just be. I love that part of aging. But the girl ain't trying to accept them wrinkles, honey, in them bags. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, sir. I will be fighting it every step of the way. So hopefully that'll help me in my struggle. The last thing I got from Amazon on this haul, don't judge me, is this. You guys, a cute little, um, it is a potato masher. And I know this is just a really, I don't want to say it's a crazy item, but the reason that I purchased it is crazy. I was watching a, um, late night QVC or HSN something and the girl the guy was doing a recipe and he had this really neat little potato masher that had like the holes in it. I was like well I don't have that kind I like the way that looks so I was on Amazon and I said let me see if they got a blue one. Lo and behold they had a blue one and it even came with a little pillar and I want to say this may have been like 10 or 14 bucks again I'll put the price on there to let you guys see but really really cute not very expensive and it's a blue so there you have it okay now moving on to Ross. Let me see, what all did I get from Ross? Is this from Ross? Yeah, this is from Ross. First up, you guys, working on my kitchen organization for the new place. And you guys know that I am all about the kitchen aid. Like, the only reason why I bought this, this utensil right here, none kitchen aid because kitchen aid didn't carry one. I looked first. Kitchen aid didn't have it in the blue. They have the whole, that type of um, potato masher, but they didn't have it in my blue. So that's the only reason why I bought that that wasn't kitchen aid. But I saw this, you guys, and it is the Kitchen Aid. Let me go over. Okay, um, it's the little mixer set, and it is like a metal bowl with a with the lids, which I thought those were really really nice. It has the um, one cup, two cup, three cup, and four cup. Um, perfect for food storage, for prepping, you know, recipes stuff like that. So I got that in my blue. Okay, keeping in with the storage of it all. Well, no, 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 no. This is not from. This is not from Ross. Let me put that back. Okay. Keep it in with Ross. I picked these up, you guys. And I know everybody has their certain feels or plights about certain types of sheets. But I have found, um, and I used to be one of those people. It had to be a certain thread kind of had to be a certain this, a certain that. But what I learned that if you launder those bad boys right, these, I don't know what thread count these, these are, but if you launder them right, do you some nice fabric softeners, some smell good in your laundry, they will feel and smell just as good as the high dollar ones. And this is the Hadrano, I believe I'm saying that right, but it's a company out of Para, or so wrong, Para Moose is what it looks like, um, collection. It's a four piece king set, wrinkle resistant, but I still like to steam or throw them in the dryer and put them on fresh out the dryer. $16.99, I figured it's worth a shot. I've never tried this brand before, but at that price, and I just like to pressure up my sheets from season to season, so I got those in there. This is like a heather gray or a um, platinum gray, okay? And then in that same brand, I picked up a set, a king set in the, um, you guys know I'm all about the champagnes and the topes, and so I got a set in that color as well. So I said for $16.99, you can't beat it. So I didn't do any research on it. It's 100% um, polyester, machine wash, cold water. Um, doesn't say anything specific about it other than it has deep, it's, um, it's a deep pocket. It fits up to a 16 inch mattress, which is perfect for me. And that's it. I mean, at 16 bucks, like I said, if it doesn't, 
um, workout outlet, you know, but I'm going to just launder them and throw those bad boys on the bed. So now let's move on to, who else do I have here? I just got a few things from Home Goods, you guys. We um, did a quick little trip um, not long ago to Memphis. Um, not, Memphis is not that far from me. And so we were in that area and I went to Home Goods, or one of the Home Goods there, I think there's like three in that, in the vicinity. And surprisingly, they were not stocked. A lot of the stores have not, they opened back up, but a lot of them haven't like restocked, restocked. And I was like, literally walking out the store, like, okay, I didn't find nothing in here, it's a bus. And I spied with my little eye, something I've been looking for. You guys, I wanted some glass storage containers. And it may not mean anything to you guys, but it was like joy to my little heart. They are like the Black & Decker. It's a glass um, storage container, like refrigerator storage. Cause I don't want my refrigerator to be all junky, you know? And I want the little stuff to be stored cute. And so I got three different sizes. This size here, three night. I hope this, this lighting is really feeling off. I don't know why I changed the setting, but for whatever reason I did, hopefully it's not too bad. So it's $3.99 for this size. And I got two of each size. And this one is the, I don't know, I can't tell what size it is on this one. Oh, 17.5 ounce of two, two cups, 2.1 cup size, okay. And so then this one is, this one was $3.99 as well, okay? And it is 21.9 ounce. So I guess it's just shaped differently because this is a 21 point, 21 point, 20 point 2 or 17.5 ounces. And this is a, I'll get it together in a minute, y'all. Um, 21.9 ounces. So there's a difference in that size. I got two of each of those. And then I also got two of, this is the largest one that they had. And it's a 27, which is a three, Point three um, cup size. So I got six of those and I'm looking for more. I think I'll probably search on Amazon or something and see if I can find that brand with just the glass. I really want to go to like glass storage containers for the kitchen, but if I don't, I have this set up for some plastic, okay? And so now we're going to go to, oh, I knew, was this from Lost Girl? I don't know. Oh no, this was from Burlington. Okay. Went to Burlington. Again, it was a hidden miss. They're not fully restocked. Um, this is one closest to my area, but I did find this, you guys. Beautiful black throw. I absolutely love it. Um, it feels so good. And this is by Marlo um, Lorenz. And I have a couple pieces from this particular um, brand and I like them. I've never been disappointed. You guys, it was only $12.99. I hope, well, yeah, I hope. $12.99 and it is a I thought I had the size on here, but oh it's a 50 by 60 throw. I absolutely love it. Really, really I like that crushed velvet look on it, and then on the inside it's just like a nice soft um plush belt. So it'd be perfect to um bundle up and cuddle up with. Okay. So and then here I found this at Burlington, which I was like, was this a Burlington find? Yeah, this is a Burlington find. So it is a set of trinket boxes. Absolutely loving it, you guys. It's like, I don't know if you could tell with this lighting. It is like a chrome ombre and it's like a lighter chrome and it kind of cascades down to almost a smoke or a black. And I thought it paired so well with this. Let's see if that helps. I don't know, but yeah, thought it pairs so well with this. And so this was the smaller size. It was $12.99. Perfect for storing um, remotes, game controllers, all that type of stuff. And then I got, sorry for bending down. I got the larger one, same style and design. I love these trinket boxes because I have been looking for some for the hubby space. Uh, when we move, every home we've looked in, we purposely looked with the idea of being able to set up a specific man cave for him. And so um, I finally got him to choose a color scheme. And this one was $19.99. Do are you guys, do you have a struggle with your hubbies when it comes to design? I mean, this, help a sister out. Maybe, you know, I'm fighting a battle that I don't need to know. They said you have to choose your battles wise. And it's like, maybe I'm fighting a battle I don't even have to fight. I mean, maybe this is just the norm for guys. I just feel like he's just really nonchalant when it comes to home decor. 
He always says, baby, I don't know. Whatever you pick is fine. But I want this space to be specific and true to what he likes. And so it's been like pulling teeth. He is an avid boxer, was a semi-pro boxer for a number of years. Really good, still good at it. So I was thinking, okay, we can do a whole boxing thing. No. Okay, he loves football. Play was good at football. We can do a football thing. He said no. Okay, what about um, a movie room set up like a theater? He said no. So it's like, what is it that you want? Like, what? <laughs> Give me some clues. And so I knew that his favorite color was like, I'll share that with you. But I was like, let's, hold on y'all. That TV just scared the daylight out of me. I just put it on pause. Hold. Oh. Whew, girl. Okay, so I had put the TV on pause. I am home alone. Hubby, they changed his work schedule, so he's gone to work. It's late when I'm recording, like nine something, right? And all of a sudden, I hear these voices, and I'm like, what the? Whew. I had to take a pause for the cops. Hold on. Okay. I'm back. So now, as I was saying, with the hubby, I was like, baby, give me give me something to, to go on. I want to make this space, you know, you, I want it to be all you, and I'm gonna call it the B Lounge. It's like his name is Bernard. Like it's gonna be the B Lounge, baby. How do you want it to look? What's the vibe? And so, looking at all of the home, all the homes that we have shared with you guys were the contenders, and I have one more to share. And then after that, the next video you see about anything house related will be the one. So I wanted to just um, start working on it, and we knew that in each home there was a similarity in the rooms that we we're gonna choose as a man cave. Either the wall was the same color or something to that degree because at first you guys he was so adamant before we started like serious hunting he wanted this big brown marshmallow style couch baby they ain't doing it no more you know can we pick something a little bit more sleek a little bit more trendy blah 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 well he was dead set on it i was so thankful to god honey when i say thankful to god i could have shouted that every room we went and looked in the man cave was either like a dark dark gray or some shade of gray so that changed his whole mind and so he started looking for deeper colors and so we're gonna go with this whole smoky not grown and sexy vibe no no particular theme just an adult kind of like a lounge you know if you went to like a gentleman's club or whatever not that kind of club but think have you seen the movie takers how that little lounge spot looked at where um um, Chris Brown and his brother had the little spot. That whole vibe. So, like a cigar lounge type of vibe. That vibe. That's where we're going. What we're going to do with like the smoky grays and the, the chromes and the charcoals. Just real masculine, strong. You know, to fit his personality. So, hence the black throw. Hence the um, the charcoal or gunmetal colored trinket boxes. So, it's like, okay, we got a vibe for him. We, we got a vibe. And I said, well, baby, we need to break that up. You know, it's like, again, I'm having to take baby steps with him. And so it's like, we need to break it up. And so I kept saying, baby, I know you have a color. I don't, what, I like, what's your favorite color? You want to add that? He was adamant against it because he was like, no, because then you think it's giving paying homage to your team, my football team, whatever. If you know me, you know what my favorite team is. And so he was just so dead set against that. And I said, well, it doesn't have to be that shade. Let's pick a different shade. So lo and behold, I drug him out of the house and went to the at-home store. And he actually selected these. He actually said, this is kind of like my favorite color. Okay, which I thought his color was a little bit darker, which is a true to my to my team, to them boys. But he selected this. And I really didn't realize that I'm wearing the same color. So this is the color. This is going to be the accent color for the Hubster's rooms. And so we're going to go with like the charcoals um, and black with a pop, just a pop of the blue. Because he was already like, okay, you go with all these fluffy pillows and things. I'm like, well, baby, when I'm in there, I'm going to want to cuddle up. I'm going to want to, you know, so do this for the ladies. So I'm going to, you know, just kind of have a little basket or something with the pillows. But I got to have a throw, you know, for movie night because we will be lounging and watching movies. So finally got him to select a color scheme. So that is for the hubby. It's going to be like the shades, of, like the house will be shades of blues. You'll see my trip, my trip, um, signature aqua or teals. You'll see cerulean. You'll see turquoise. And now you'll see um, a little bit of the... I would say that's more royal blue because blue is everywhere but i just did not want to just like go blue crazy so just accents of it so you'll see that whenever we get moved and settled and so now okay tied into the at home store you guys i saw these now if you have an at home store in your area 
all of their spring summer is 50% off and so with that I picked up mind you so what's what I'm gonna call a diamond in the rough so I'll share with you I got two of these okay they ain't looking like much right now but I'm gonna tell you sometimes you have to look at things not for what they are but for what you see that they can be right so I saw this and I was like oh honey these little flowers look like mm -hmm. but I saw the potential. I love me some grapevine. I always love the grapevine reefs and the um, gardens and things like that. So what I love about this was the double. It's already come with the double. You know, I love layering things. And so what drew my attention to it, secondly, was the palm leaves, you guys. Again, that's tying with my whole tropical theme. And remember, I told you that I picked up these um, little floral picks here. And I've got a couple more in mind from Hobby Lobby. I may run out and get that. So I'm going to be doing a summer um front door decorate with me and so i will um share that with you guys so i'm gonna revamp this baby so this is what she looks like now but i'm gonna give her a whole tropical just you know bring her up to the grand style of tmb okay so stick around for that video but i absolutely love it and this was 24.99 at half price so i got two for 24.99 i got two right now i'm gonna use one on the back door but again with each home we've looked at with the exception of one, they have double doors. So we know that we, I'll be able to, well, I know that I'll be able to use these on the double doors like in the future. So I'm excited about that. Okay. Oh, we, I just skipped all over something. Let me back up. Here is something I picked up from um, Home Goods. Honey, when that TV came on, that just kind of threw your girl off, right? In home goods, not that I need another set, but when I saw these, I was like, I have been wanting one of these sets for a while, and it is this. It is the beautiful iridescent. I hope the camera is doing it some justice, honey. I absolutely love this set. They had this, and then they had one that was more white with the opaque or the um. But I have a set. I got my iridescent, but I like this vibe better. Um, and this is the um, dessert plate. It was one ninety nine. You guys, the price was unbeatable. And then, oh, this is the Artistic Accents collection. And this is the dinner plate. It was $2.99. It did not have bowls, but I'm not really big, keen on bowls anyway. So for this set, you guys, I purchased it for our formal dining area. And it is, um, I got a set of eight for that. So got those from Home Goods. And then last but not least, you guys, when I tell you your girl is just obsessed with some Facebook marketplace and when I share with this share this with you you will understand why I'm trying to move things out of the way so I can kind of pull her over I purchased a couple of these not long ago um, and I hauled them for you guys and one of them I have hanging in my dining room one is still like in the packaging because again I was buying it for the new house well I knew that I wanted to get at least one or two more I wanted at least two or four of them right on Facebook marketplace honey and look what I found Mm-hmm. One of these beautiful mosaic um, wall plaques. I absolutely love this thing, you guys. You see how big it is? I already have two of them. And on Pier 1, you guys know that Pier 1 is going out of business. And so I was really kind of trying to shop around and um, catch them on sale. But they really kind of dragging their feet on their sales to me. I don't know if anyone else is feeling that way, but your girl has been watching them and they're not really moving like I need them to move. But I still want to try to, I think I want one more. If I don't get another one, I think I can work with these three for what I want to do with them. And I noticed that a couple of them had like little spots of glass missing, but guess what? You can buy them all day at um, Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. So that was an easy fix. These originally um, were priced, I want to say $189. I put them on the, I put it on the page on the screen what the original price was and when I got mine I got them for like less than a hundred with all the discounts and stuff but guess how much your girl got this one for forty dollars when I tell you 40 has been my number um here lately I got my outdoor patio set for 40 bucks I got this for 40 bucks and there was something else I picked up for the hubby that was um originally like a hundred some dollars end up getting that for 40 bucks that's been like my my go-to number and like most times when I go to stores my total is like 40 and 40 something 43 it's always like 40 something so i'm like okay god are you speaking to me about this 40 i don't know i'm my ears are open to listen though so you guys that is it that is all now i'm looking at okay so where you'll put all this stuff that is the question i ask myself every time i do this and i mind you these hauls are not like one day i just go out and spend all this money these are collected from weeks at a time some of them 
like I said, I, with the with the pillow covers, I ordered that for another tablescape. It came in and let you guys know how COVID is. It's um, it's got everything kind of delayed, so some things don't come when you when you order them. Even though they say they'll deliver on a certain time or date, they don't necessarily do that. And so it's just it is what it is. So now I have to go um, and prepare some things. My daughter, my baby, my oldest baby girl. I was I call all of my baby girls, but my oldest is graduating uh, with her master's this Friday. Well, she won't be technically graduating because again, COVID is shutting things down, but she will be finishing up her master's. And so she's having a nice little um, reverse brunch at her house. So I've been kind of helping her with some things, hence the delay in my video coming out. So I've got to finish that up, but I have to take a pause, throw on a little face and get this together for you guys. So again, I will be coming back. You're going to get this Tuesday, Wednesday, -ish. it'll be Tuesday. Um, but hey, just give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and share as if you came at a regular time. Just know your girl has been, it's been, um, I'm going to say blessed and be. I don't like to say booked and be. I've been blessed. Well, I've been booked and blessed. I'll say it like that. So I will share another. There's going to be another video, you guys. I'm going to kind of do a little chit chat with you guys, kind of give you the behind the scenes of some things that have been going on. I contemplate on whether or not to do it, but I think I will to you guys. And then um, what else has been going on? Oh, I have... The collab has already happened. Yeah, the collab are, that collab already happened. Yes, that that was Wani's. Oh yeah, you guys, we did the fun um girl. I love my girlfriend's um collaboration. I think that came out Friday. My days are so mixed up. This is Tuesday. This is Tuesday tripping. Okay, so Friday you already did that video because in my mind I'm still within editing mode from that video because I had oh my god the week of uh, me filming that video I had five beautiful but unexpected guests in the house so I was trying to work around that so I was in full on just get up and get it done mode as with um this video but you know as YouTubers we have to sometimes set things aside for family and that was kind of the case my nieces needed me and I really needed them as much as they needed me just to have that little one-on-one -on -one time with them so I'll get into that another time this video is probably gonna be really really long but y'all love me so y'all gonna watch it right watch it all the way from um what else Maybe that's it. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be Thursday. I know the 4th of July is coming up. I can't promise you that you're going to get a um, 4th of July tablescape. That, I think that's probably just going to be my chit chat. Um, with that, you'll understand why you're not getting a, a um, Father's Day tablescape. Not Father's Day. Um, 4th of July. But, um, yeah, so Thursday, I may even go live. Leave a comment, you guys. Let me know if you want to go live Thursday night. I don't know if I want to do Thursday night or Saturday. Let me know. No, Saturday is the 4th, right? We ain't doing no live on the 4th. Okay, so never mind. But we'll, do, we'll be doing it Thursday. Either I'll do a live or I'll do just a recorded chit-chat. Probably a recorded chit-chat just because um, I got face on. I need to get it done. So I'll do that. I'm about to record that now. But hey, until the next video, whatever it is, I want you guys to have a blessed and most beautiful, beautiful day. Smooches.